Good morning, Shabbat Shalom, good Shabbos, and thank you for joining us this morning. This is not an easy time. We got up this morning fearful what we would hear on the news with all the protests, with all the violence, with all the horror of the last few days. Historically speaking, on Shabbat, we're supposed to put our grief aside, we're supposed to put our pain aside, but we can't, and we never have been able to. So I will be making some comments later on in this service about the tragic death of George Floyd and what it has meant and its consequences, what it can tell us and how perhaps we can begin to respond. So let us at least enjoy something of this day and let us begin with the singing of Hine Matovu Manayim Shevetachim Gamyachai. Hine Matovu Manayim Shevetachim Gamyachad. Hine Matovu Manayim Shevetachim Gamyachad. Hine Matovu Manayim. La 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 la. Hine Matovu Manayim. La 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 la. Hine Matovu Manayim. La 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 la. Hine Matovu Manayim. La 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 la. Hine Matovu Manayim. Shabbat Ahim Gam Yahad, he name a tobu manahim. Shabbat Ahim Gam Yahad. May the one whose spirit is with us in every righteous deed. Be with all who work for the good of humanity and bear the burdens of others. Who give bread to the hungry and clothe the naked and take the friendless into their homes. May the work of their hands endure and may the seed they sow bring abundant harvest. We continue with the singing of Matobu. Oh, My God, the soul you have given me is pure. You created it, you shaped it, you breathed it into me. And you protect it within me. For as long as my soul is within me, I offer thanks to you, O God, 
and God of my ancestors, source of all creation, sovereign of all souls. Praised are you, Adonai, in whose hand is the soul of every living being and the breath of humankind. Baruch Ata Adonai, Asher Bayado Nefesh Kolchai, Baruch Kol Basar. We continue now with the singing of the Barhu. Baruch Ed Adonai, Hamavora. Baruch Adonai, Hamavora. Leolam va'ed. Praise Adonai to whom praise is due forever. Praise be Adonai to whom praise is due now and forever. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech ha'olam, yotzer or uvorei choshech, ose shalom uvorei et hakol. Chameir la'aretz v'ladarim aleha barachamim, uftuvo mechadesh v'chol yom tamid, ma'ase reishit. Marabu ma'asech adunai, kulam b'chokma asita, malach ha'aretz kinyanecha, titbarach adunai Eloheinu, Al Shevach Maaseya Decha, La Arme Ore Ore Shasita Yepa Arucha Sela, Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer Hameorot. Love your neighbor as yourself, you said, and light blinded we saw that inner and outer worlds are one, as you are one. You spoke and we wrote. We reached for you down the centuries. Your light moving before us as we climbed, fell back, and climbed again your Sinai of life. Baruch Ata Adonai, Abocher Mo Yisrael, Be'ahava. We continue with the singing of the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kehut Malchuto Leolam Ba'ed Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. We continue with Via Hafta. Via Hafta, and Adonai Eloheha, the Kolobaba Kalva Kol Nafshiha, Uba Kol Meodeha. The <laughs> Ubishach Bakhav Kumeha Ukashar Tom Leho Dalio Deha Beha Yula Tota Fort Bene Neha Ukitab Tom Amazuzot Beteha Ubishareha Limahant is Keru Baasitem at Kalmit Botai Behitem Kedoshim Lelo Hekem Ani Adonai Lelo Hekem Asher Hotzei Tierkem Meyeritz Mitzrayim 
להיות לכם לאלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם. As our ancestors left Egypt and passed through the sea, they sang a song of praise to God. The words Michamocha are part of that song. May all of humanity, as they pass through the sea, leaving slavery, leaving the consequences of slavery, very soon be able to sing as our ancestors sang, a song of praise to God. We continue with Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha Poelem Adonai Micha Mocha Nedar Bakodesh Nora Tehillot Oseh Pele Nora Tehillot Oseh Pele Shira Kadesha Shibaku Geulin Leshim Ha Asparayam Yakad Kulam Ho do be Kim Lehu be Amaru Adonayim Lo Adonayim Lo Leolam Vaed Sur Yisrael Kuma bi Ezrat Yisrael Ufte Hirumecha Yedave Yisrael Galenu Adonai Tzavot Shemo Kedosh Yisrael Baruch Ata Adonai Ga'a Yisrael I am now going to read a passage from Mishkan Tefillah on a page opposite Michamocha which reflects the eternal optimism of our people despite all the horrors around us. The good in us will win over all the wickedness, over all the wrongs we have done. We will look back at the pages of written history and be amazed, and then we will laugh and sing, and the good that is in us, children in their cradles, will have won. We continue with the tefillah. Tehillah teka Adonai Open up my lips That my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohe avotenu v'imotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yizka Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sa'a, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Lehu, Ha'el Ha'gadol Ha'gibor Ve'hanoro, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסתי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שימו באהבון, מלך עוזר, ומושיע ומגן. Baruch atah Adonai Magain Avraham Bezrat Sarah Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai 
So mek no pilim pero fe colim, uma tiro surim, uma kayem emunato, le jene afa. Mi kamo kaba agevurot, umido melo, melek me mi to mekaye. O mat me ho kishua Ven emanata la ha ko yo ta ko Baruka ta Adonai me ka ye ha ko We continue with the kadusha Me kadusha chimha bahola Keshem shemati shem, oh tobish me marum. Kaka tu haliyod nevieko, bikara zeyel zeyve amor. Kadosh, 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 Adonai tzvot, meloko haaretz. Adir adirenu Adonai Adonenu Ma adir shemacha Bekho haaretz Baku kevod Adonai Mim kamo Echad hu Eloheinu Hu avinu hu malakinu, hu moshienu hi hu yashminu, berach hamav leinecho kai. Ani Adonai Elohikem, yimloch Adonai leolam, Elohai yiktsiyon. Lador Vador, Alleluia. Lador Vador, Nagi Gorleka, O Netzach, Netzachium, Kedushacha, Nagdish, Beshevka, Kailuhinu, Mipinu, Loyamosh, Leolam. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages, as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days, Adonai made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, God ceased from work and was refreshed. We continue with Kad Shenu. Eloheinu velohevoteinu veimoteinu Ritzivimnu chateinu Kachinu ba mitvoteka, vitin kilkinu betorateka, sabinu mitu viha, visam kinu beshuateka, vita helabinu. Le of the Kabe Emet Behan Hilinu Adonai Eloheinu 
On this holy Shabbat, may we draw near to life, to peace, and to joy. May we find true rest, holiness in our deeds, worth in our study of Torah. Let us feed on the joy of goodness. Let us drink from the love of goodness. Restrain our thirst for excess and cleanse our hearts to serve life well. On this holy Shabbat, may we draw near in life, in peace, and in joy. Baruch na'avod. And let us take a moment to pray for peace, for peace in the world, for peace in our cities, for peace in our hearts. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within its borders, health and happiness within its homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Adonai, who blesses your people with peace. Baruch Adonai, HaMivorech Amo Yisrael, Shalom. Let us continue with a few moments of private silent prayer. Shalom And we now say special prayers for those who are ill, but also say prayers for those who are suffering spiritually. We think in particular of the community of Minneapolis, of the entire country, and everyone who has a sense of decency in their hearts. Mishaberach avotenu v'imotenu, Abraham Yitzach v'yaakov, Sarah Rechel v'leah, Hu yevarech et acholim, 
May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. We mention in our congregational family and extended congregational family, Nancy Freund, Ruth Pagursky, Andrew Lerman, Eileen Egan, Joshua Haran, Katie Pastor, Trudy Caruso, Zachary Pastor, Douglas Baker, Rebecca Latkoff. We think of all the members of George Floyd's family and his friends and his community. We ask that God grant them the strength to continue. For those who are ill, may they be granted a refuah shleima, a quick and easy recovery. And let us all say amen as we continue singing this Misha Berach together. Misha Berach avoteinu mekor habracha lohimoteinu may the source of strength who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi shebero imoteinu mekor habracha lehobuteinu Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Prayers for our community. Thus says Adonai, this is what I desire, to unlock the fetters of wickedness and untie the cords of lawlessness, to let the oppressed go free, to break off every yoke, share your bread with the hungry, and take the wretched poor into your home. When you see the naked, give clothing, and do not ignore your own kin. If you banish the yoke, from your midst, the menacing hand, the evil speech. If you offer compassion to the hungry and satisfy the famished creature, then your light shall shine in darkness. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they judge and govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife, and our country be sound in body and spirit. And let us all say, Amen. My comments this morning, of course, have to do with the recent events in Minneapolis. Many of us have seen firsthand people die. I don't know how many of us have seen people being killed. I certainly don't know how many of us have seen an individual killed 
by a police officer. The police are supposed to be there to protect us. If a police officer wants to talk to me, I should not be afraid. I should not be afraid that I will be discriminated against because of who I am or because of the color of my skin. We saw a CNN reporter arrested. He showed his credentials, but that wasn't good enough. He asked why he was being arrested. He wasn't given an answer. In his own comments after he was released, and, and I must pause for a moment and say, until he was released, I was very stressed and very nervous as to what would happen to him and his crew. He said the officers, as they took him away, said they were just following orders. Where does that expression come from? The Nazis at the Nuremberg trials. I want to compliment all those who kept their cool through these horrors. I was very impressed with the comments of the governor of Minnesota. I guess it was just yesterday. I recognize that 50, 60 years later, we're still hearing about nonviolence as we heard up to the time of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination over 50 years ago. And we hear, and I'm being very cynical, that nonviolence hasn't done any good. I am not in favor of violent responses. I prefer to emphasize after the violence, there were pictures on one of the news networks this morning of people cleaning up the mess. A far more powerful message. But in my deep cynicism, I could easily see the following happen. No wild response, no protest, George Floyd is buried, he is forgotten, and tomorrow morning, all we talk about is the World Health Organization and China. Everybody says this has been going on for too long. Everybody says we have to do something about it. We've been saying this for 50 or 60 years. I heard the expression many times that in their training, police officers need to be sensitized to this, to that, and to the other. I know when there are incidents in schools, teachers are required to take an hour and a half course on racial sensitivity, as if that would do any good. My own feeling is, that should be part of the moral education of everyone, police officer or not, school administrator or not. We should all be taught that throughout our lives. We pre recorded the services we posted yesterday, and by the time they were posted, they were out of date. For those of you who followed them, and if those of you who didn't, you can check on our uh, Facebook page a note I sent out to the congregation. We all need to have a kind of moral education to know what is right and what is wrong. 
what is the relevance of saying this on this very day? It should be on every day's agenda. According to the traditional Jewish calendar, historically, this is the second day of Shuvuot. Yesterday was the first day. The rabbinic tradition says that on Shavuot, God revealed the Torah to the people of Israel. The Torah teaches us to be kind and to be decent. Translate that into reality. Now the Torah doesn't teach us, but in a way the Torah does, a rule that you have in most schools, students are supposed to behave. And by the way, if you've ever investigated, as I had to once, the ACLU's book on the rights of students in schools, students have fewer rights in schools than incarcerated prisoners do. If you use certain words, if you demean others, if you do something inappropriate of that nature, you can be suspended or expelled without appeal. All of us need to watch our language. When a crisis breaks out, whether it's in school, or as a result of a death. It is easy to start blaming left, right, and center and calling people names. That doesn't do anyone any good. It only adds fuel to the fire. And there's been enough fuel added to the fire already. Now, what causes all of this? The long-term causes, of course, the seething hatred in our society, the lack of resolution for the history of slavery and its consequences, and the inability for people of different ethnic and racial backgrounds to work together, and then the factor of accident, of just chance, of what I call one wrong move. If a certain individual hadn't gone into a certain store, they'd gone to the movies instead. If a certain person who worked or owned that store hadn't called the police. If different police officers had come to the case. We think back and we wish things could be otherwise. We can make a difference by teaching what our heritage is taught. A kind of restraint when we're angry, restricting the use of language, and having a list of words or slurs that we would never, ever use. We hope for healing in that sense, it's, maybe it's not possible, but at least moving in that direction. Not that this will be put behind us, but that we can move forward in a way that Minneapolis and the other places in this country that are protesting right now can feel some sense of resolve and a beginning to work together to make sure this does not happen again. I can't be too optimistic, but I dare not be too pessimistic either. May we be blessed with that desire to move forward, to build bridges, to speak peace, to offer comfort and compassion. May we suffer through these difficult times and come up better people. And you cannot, I have to say something more. This isn't happening in a vacuum. There's a pandemic going on. There are huge crowds gathering 
and what are they spreading? That worries me more than the details of how many people can be in how many restaurants at a certain time. Is it a sense of despair that it's all over and who cares? Is it a kind of denial? There are people who deny that there are racial problems in this country. There are people who deny that there is a pandemic. There are those who assured us that everything would be over by the end of the Memorial Day weekend. Well, it came and it went. So let us try to be safe. Let us be courageous. Let us respect our fellow human being created in the image of God. And one way to do that is to keep social distance and wear a mask. Translated into reality, get beyond just the beautiful phrases. And may God give us the strength to keep that in mind every moment of our lives. I'm sorry we have to talk about these things. It is essential. And it is essential that we as a community express our grief and our pain at this time. I wish we could just sit back and find some nice little passage in the Torah reading for this week and talk about it in a way that it isn't threatening or upsetting to any of us. But life is seldom so simple. Let us continue now with our service and we are going to turn to the adoration and then we will do our concluding prayers. We continue with the adoration. Aleinu l'shabeot le'adon ha'kol Latet gedula liyot se'bereshit Shelo asanu kegyo ye'haratzot Velo samanu Kamesh bachot ha'adama Shelo samakho kenu kahem Vegor aleinu kako ha'monan Va'ana kandu kurim, umesh takavim umodim, lifne melech, make hamlakim, hakadosh baruchu. Vanema, vehaya adonai, lamelech al kol haaretz. Vayom hahu, vayom hahu, yehye Adonai ekad. Ushimu, ushimu, ushimu ekad. When cherished ties are broken, and the chain of love is shattered. Only trust and the strength of faith can lighten the heaviness of the heart. At times the pain of separation seems more than we can bear, but if we dwell too long on our loss, we embitter our hearts and harm ourselves and those about us. The psalmist said that in his affliction he learned the law of God, and in truth, grief is a great teacher when it sends us back to serve and bless the living. We learn how to counsel and comfort those who, like ourselves, are bowed with sorrow. We learn when to keep silent in their presence and when a word will assure them of our love and concern. And thus, even when they are gone, the departed are with us, moving us to live as in their higher moments they themselves wish to live. We remember them now. They live in our hearts. They are an abiding blessing. We begin, of course, in our list of recently departed by mentioning George Floyd. And we also mention names of our friends and members of our congregational family. Merrill Goldman, Danny Bear, Frida Shapiro, Douglas Gross, Ruth Perlman, Morton Skirball, 
Earl Gordon, Claudine Siegel. We remember those whose yard sets occur at this time, Allison Clayback, Meyer Gerson, Gilbert Blickman, Roger Goldstein, Sylvia Granowitz, Lillian Kreiss, Leo Lieberman, Ari David Moses Morse, Andrew Pastor, Abe Rosenzweig, Maurice Schottenfeld, Florence Gursky, Harry Tobias. And if you have additional names, say them out loud now as we pause for a moment or two. And then we turn to the Kaddish. Yit Gadal, the Yit Kadash Shame Rabbah, the Almadi Vrasarute, the Amlech Mahute, the Chaye Hon of Yome Hon, of Chaye de Ho Bet Israel, Bagala of Isman Kari the Imru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabbah Mivarach, the Alam Ul Alme Almaya, Yit Barach, the Ishtabach. Vit paar vit romam vit nase, vit adar vit ale vit alal, shmei de kutcha brechu. La ela in kober chata ve sherata, tush bachata ve nechamata, damiran ve anma ve imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya vachayim alenu, ve al kol Yisrael ve imru amen. O se shalom vim romal, huya a se shalom. Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. May the source of peace grant peace unto those who mourn and comfort the bereaved among us. And let us all say, Amen. Before we conclude, and let us not end on just a note of mourning, we offer a prayer of thanksgiving for those who are feeling better this week those who are no longer getting certain treatments or got good test results. We offer words of congratulation to all of those who graduated albeit virtually from colleges, from high schools, other institutions of higher learning. We offer special words of congratulations for those who finished their school assignments on time, even though school wasn't in session and the structure and discipline of actually being there didn't exist. May the forthcoming days be better days for all of us as we are blessed with good health and a society and a community where all can feel safe. Let us conclude with the singing of Adon Olam. Adon Olam Asher Mala. Hi diddy, hi diddy, hi di, hi di, hi. Viterum call you to neither. Hi diddy, hi diddy, hi di, hi di, hi. Leak no so be kept so a call. Hi di, 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 hi di, hi. As I melech shmoni crow. Hi di, 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 di. Be ho ho re ki glor ha ko Lev ha do yim lok no ra Ve hu ha yo ve hu hu ve Ve hu ye ye bi te fa ra Ha di ha di ha di Adon o la ma sher ma la Ha di di ha di di ha di ha di ha Viterum call ye to neither. Hi, diddy, hi, diddy, hi, hi, hi. Leak no so, we kept so cold. Hi, di, 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 hi, hi. As I melech money crow. Hi, di, 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 di. Be who we had be ancient. Li ham she lo, li hak be ra, be li reshit, be li taklit, va lo ha oz be ha mis ra. Haidi, 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 adon olam asher malam, 
Hardy, 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 hardy. Viterum cohit in Ivra. Hardy, 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 hardy. Liek na so vikept so cold. Hardy, 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 hardy. As I melek shimonic rock. Hi, die, daddy, daddy, die. May this coming week be a better one for all of us. Yuvarecha Adonavi Ishmarecha, Ya Er Adonai Panavelecha Vichunecha, Isa Adonai Panavelecha, we are same Lacha Shalom. Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us.